Welcome to Billions Club. Now it's time to set up your MetaTrader 4 so you'll be able to execute your trading positions. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with the email you just received after the whole onboarding process. The important thing that we're gonna start with will be the server right here. So the server we're gonna use right now will, will be Purple Trading SC02 Demo. So you will go to the MetaTrader. We're gonna click right here into the settings section and we need to click on a new account. Then we're gonna click on login to existing account and we're gonna find our server, which will be right here. Gonna click on the server and now we have login section and password section. So we'll go back to the email and here we have the account number. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it to the login uh, section right here. Then we need to click on our password that we see right here. Once again, we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it to a password section. Now we are done, we need to sign in. We're gonna sign in. What you should see now is MetaTrader is gonna load up and you should see in your trade section 100K. It obviously depends on what account you bought, but if you bought 100K account, you should see 100K uh, USD in a balance section here. This is the first step. What we gotta do next is we need to uh, change the quotes that we have here. So go to the quote section and we need to find the right ticker. So you're gonna click on plus button here. You're gonna type in your pairs that you will be trading. So for example, your USD and you need to add the symbol with the raw description that you see here. So your USD, now let's say we want to add uh, a gold symbol. So you're gonna search for gold ticker that is here and it has to have the row in the name. This is very important because if you will be trading pairs without the row here, it won't be executing the positions on that row pair. We need to be trading the row. So we have a Euro USD row, gold row. We're gonna add BDC USD. Once again, it has the extension row in the name. Now we are done. If you want to take a trade, you will go back here to the trade section. You're going to click on plus and now we need to select BDCUSD raw. We can click on trade so we can execute a position. Now we are in. So it's very important to have in a quote section the symbols with a raw extension.